The Israeli martial art of Krav Maga specializes in threat neutralization, shutting down an attack quickly and efficiently. But although it was developed by the Israeli Defense Forces for the use of soldiers, it has been embraced by a whole new audience of everyday civilians here in the United States. Hopefully some of you guys had a bad day and this, I want to get right through that right now. Does that make sense? Here at Krav Maga Eastside Training Studio in Seattle, instructors explain just what makes Krav Maga so special. One of the things we teach is not just how to punch, how to kick, but also what does violence look like? What, is it happening to me? What do I do when that happens? And when you have that, you kind of are able to deal with it on a much calmer level. We choose to do this. We want to do this. And uh, it's, it's a tremendous amount of fun. It, it really does translate very well to the civilian population. People come here, they practice, they learn skills that they can really apply. As soon as they walk out the door, they've got something they can do. And it really is empowering. In this intro level class, participants learned what to do if approached from behind by a gunman. It's coming over. Back to back. The same defensive maneuvers taught here in Seattle can be seen in official Israeli Defense Forces material. Participants in the class are very passionate about what they're learning. They say Krav Maga is improving them in both body and mind. Um, I'm really into physical fitness. I love going to the gym. And Krav Maga physically exhausts me. It, I, every time I come here, I'm just drenched, sweating, and tired. On the, on the side of uh, confidence, um, I've never had more confidence in just keeping my head up and being aware and having confidence that if something does arise, I have the immediate skills to interact with that person. When I step out the door, I feel great from the endorphins, but I'm also bringing that mentality out as well. I'm feeling confident because I've been in here, you know, training with guys who know, really know what they're doing, um, instilling that confidence of that training in you. Physically, um, I don't think I've ever been stronger. I, I feel great. I can go to the gym. I can lift the same weights that, that guys weigh. And mentally, um, so I feel good emotionally, too. In particular, Krav Maga has connected with many American women who appreciate that the art helps them learn defensive techniques, boosting feelings of self-assuredness and security. Well, I think there's something to be said for a practical self-defense technique that somebody of any size, you know, other gender, any weight can use, and that's something that really attracted me to Krav. I personally recommend it to all my female friends just because they're really realistic about it. There's no, like, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't try this, you know? They, like, really want you to get stronger. They, like, they really educate you about what is, like, statistically likely to happen and how to be prepared for it. I just think it's so important. Um, I know that uh, I've... I've been in a situation where I was attacked by two women one time a long time ago at a party and I felt completely uh, fearful and it just is such an empowering thing to do. No one will ever attack me or hurt me again. Some may be practicing for their health, others for reasons of safety and security. But whatever their reason for taking up the martial art, it's clear that American participants are gaining confidence in their own abilities through the practice of Krav Maga. I'm Rebecca Foster for JN1 in Seattle.